Hey, this is Simeon from praisetracks.com. And when you look at the history of sampled instruments, there's one instrument that stands out above them all, and that is the acoustic piano. We have so many beautiful sample libraries that feature the acoustic piano in an upright grand or a concert grand, so many different ones. Is there more that can be done? Okay, we're back. And there's no question of the number of sample piano libraries that are available today. And I just found out about a brand new library from Heaviosity. And they have a reputation for bringing out just very dynamic and creative libraries that fall into just really interesting sound design uh, categories. And so their new piano was called Ascend Modern Piano. And so we're going to dive in and take a look and see and hear uh, what this beautiful piano sounds like. Okay, here we go. So right away, you notice that it's a very, uh, it's a very striking interface in that uh, we have uh, just a main page here. We have the settings, uh, source, modulation, an arpeggiator, uh, an echo engine, uh, effects, and uh, a, con a convolution engine, which is, seems really interesting. And uh, just in, in, in the way that I usually like to do videos like this, uh, I like to discover them along with you. So uh, not a lot of rehearsal or uh, whatever. I just want to experience this with you and, and go over this. Uh, you know, we'll go through some presets and things. So uh, let's, just, let's just start playing and see what happens. Here we go. Now that is something, that is something else. Okay, so uh, when, when I'm reading over some of the background of, of uh, Send, they have created samples from this beautiful nine foot Steinway Concert D and they've used different sampling techniques like they've played them with mallets, brushes, they've used an ebo which is like a magnet that that uh, will vibrate the strings, uh, they've used twine and it's it's almost like I like to say they like the it's like they were it was made in cooperation with the piano guys because the piano guys are always taking the piano into very unusual uh, directions and it's like this is what we have here. Uh, you notice that there's three sections of the interface and um, and each one has, uh, you have a different treatment of the piano available to you. And you can mix uh, and blend these two. So they, this is called the, um, the PPP mix. So just a very delicate, soft uh, mix on the piano. So let's just, you know, we, we kind of moved, it, moved the uh, control up here. So, so this is all that we're going to hear. And it looks like we've got a really nice effect. Yeah, we've got a big hall. And I like the way they've kind of got these effects presets here because you're, you're basically clicking and dragging from the uh, settings here and uh, dropping them in and you can just kind of rearrange them in, in like an effects chain. So let's just, uh, just take the effects off so you can just hear the PPP mix of, of this uh, piano. Yeah, 
And then you, you put on these beautiful effects. You've got like a compressor and a diffusion delay. Yeah. This is on the first preset now. This is just on the first preset and, uh, <laughs> And the Ebo, let's move it over to the Ebo so you can hear what that sounds like. And again, we'll just take off the effects so you can just hear the raw sound. Yeah, there we go. And in each of these, uh, each of these sections here, you have control over the mix, the pan, this is sampled under, it's under the piano. And then when you blend it together, let's just go ahead and load that preset again. Yeah, I mean, you, you blend it all together. Okay. Yeah, we gotta we gotta move on. Let's go. <laughs> Let's just go on. And and you know, again, I've I've not heard I've not heard a lot of this uh, because I wanted to just kind of be surprised along with you. Now now you notice right away, <clears throat> you see that that um, the triangle's moving. So it's it's you can actually animate that. Now listen. Let's just see. So I'm just holding that down, and you just hear that thing moving, that the sound just... Wow. Just some very wonderful possibilities for doing some really creative sound design and and so you notice that they're using the brush, so they're, they're, they're playing the, the strings and sampling the strings with the brushes. Um, uh, let, let's just, just listen to the, just, the, just the basic piano, uh, the basic concert, uh, Steinway Concert Grand D that they sampled, that uh, Concert D. So we can just go from in, in any direction that you want. You know. Yeah, man. See, see, what happens is that you can just get, you can just get sucked down the rabbit hole very quickly. <laughs> so they've got different, um, different treatments of even the that's interesting okay uh, just do one more from this uh, section here And you notice they've got uh, different adjustments for the sounds, uh, the mechanical sounds of the piano. So, yeah, you hear the pedal up noise, pedal down. You hear the strings just kind of. 
then the key presses. And all of these little nuances um, just add to the overall You kind of hear that action going. Uh, so it just adds to the overall uh, experience. Wow. Okay, man. Art installation. So this looks like it's using this echo engine uh, as well. So we've got twine, um, muted, the muted strings, and it's just some harmonic uh, harmonics here, like sampling the harmonics of the piano. So let's just uh, see hear what happens. <laughs> Again, so much is happening just when you just hit one, one note. And everything is, can be tempo synced and that kind of thing. And that's pulling twine up and down through the strings to get those. <laughs> and then the harmonics, let's just listen to that. And what's so cool, it almost reminds me of like a wave station type of thing where you can animate that transitions between all the Yeah, unbelievable. Just very beautiful. Let's just do some more uh, extended back and forth waves. And you're hearing this for the first time like I am. Talk about soundtracks and composing and stuff. I mean, this is just a wealth of really cool ideas. Let's just try stringy pad um, and again you know really I'm I'm like going through these and hearing these some of these for the first time you know I, I was I spent some time yesterday um, just kind of going briefly but I wanted to save some of this for uh, recording this video yeah and you know that you see what's going on up here uh, I mean, it's just very interesting. And so you've got you've got four bar four beats to, to this convolution engine that's really taken the taken the sound and and really making it so interesting. Um, oh man, rhythmic. Let's try a different key. <laughs> wow. Where am I? Okay, so let's try, let's try, um, man. Swimming 16th stutters. Just 
so cool how this is taking this sound and transforming it into so many different interesting ways. So now this is uh, like an, using the arpeggiator. Um, so let's take a listen. just create creative very creative very beautiful um, soft improviser and it's just creating some beautiful patterns and melodies here. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> uh, very interesting. So it's based on uh, just different scales and transpositions and things. And I know I need to go read the manual, uh, but this is just like, it's just so much fun to, oh, music for airplanes. Let's just check that out. Cause I'm, I find myself in airplanes sometimes. Yeah, like. It's like they put the Steinway in a commuter jet. if you're flying United uh, there. Uh, let's see, which uh, I, I prefer. <laughs> that's a whole other, that's a whole other video. Uh, pressing ostinato. Okay, so we've, again, we've got more effects down here. Um, yeah, I mean, and one of the cool things is it, it's like everything's kind of like centered on the same screen. Okay, now let's just try this. Uh, let's go ahead and stop this. And let's record our own little automation here. Uh, it's gonna go for two bars. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, zip, 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 zip. Yeah, see now watch, it's gonna play that back. Zip, zip, so let's try that. Yeah, very cool. Oh, let's try one more. Let's just try tight muted octave echoes. Yeah, I mean, there's just so much going on. Wooden chains. Now they've used chains to even create some of these presets.
to get those really interesting percussive Interesting. Very interesting. <clears throat> Let's just do one more. <clears throat> Starlight Echoes. Uh, I mean, it just inspires you to hear these different sounds coming back at you. Sounds that you would never really think a piano could make, but they've taken this to Yeah, they've just they've just taken this into a, into a, they ascended it, you know, it, you know, they, the piano ascended, you know, just like they've taken it to a whole nother, uh, another level as far as creativity and some things that you can do. Uh, hyper comp, let's just, yeah, super heavy compressed. Very cool, very cool. Okay, so let's take a look at one more. Ascended patch. There's so many different things. Delicate soft sustains, that sounds nice. So let's load that up. And with the Evo, that Evo causes that string to keep ringing and sustaining. And their extra soft mix is just... So, uh, wow, uh, what a beautiful instrument from Heaviosity, and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to find out more information, uh, you can check on the links below. And uh, remember to please subscribe and share and, uh, you know, let me know if you have any questions about the instrument or anything that you might have found interesting. And uh, thanks so much for watching, and uh, we'll see you real soon.